Hello everyone. Welcome to Joy Root. Today we are starting a new video series, Exchange Server 2019. In this video series, we will be covering how to install Exchange Server 2019, what all the prerequisites are required to install Exchange Server 2019, post installation, how to uh, bind the virtual directory, how to add the server to the DAC, how to create the database, how to create the mailbox. So all these we will be creating uh, videos in, in a series. So first thing first, now we will learn how to install Exchange Server 2019, what all the prerequisites are required. So, if you come to prerequisites, these are the prerequisites are required to install Exchange Server 2019. First of all, we have we required a VM for VM or physical machine with the, uh, to install Exchange Server 2019, and uh, in it required an AD server, and uh, it should be uh, this so the server should be added to the domain, and join the exchange server to the domain then create vm to the create a vm with windows 10 we require a client machine where we can test it out we can configure outlook and we can check it out uh, how the user mailbox are functioning these are the some uh, prerequisites are required so install uh, exchange server we require dotnet framework 4.8 enable windows r set remote server administration tools for that these are the command uh, to enable the RSAT, which was remote server administration tools. Then it required Visual C++ 2013 redistributable, redistributable. Install Microsoft Unified Microsoft Communication Managed API 4.0 is required. URL rewrite is required. And post that, we will have to prepare the schema. We will have to prepare the domain. We will have to prepare the Active Directory. We will be doing it one by one. So. I have already logged into the server. This is the server, and I have the Exchange Server 2019 cumulative update file. Uh, ISO file I have already <coughs> downloaded it. Then, as you can see, Visual C++ rewrite and uh, all the prerequisites applications which is required. I have already downloaded here. So, how you can download it? Just go to Edge. Please type pre like sites installing windows server exchange server 2019 better to search it in the google so i'll copy this okay and search it over here okay like you said for installing exchange server 2019 so you will get a link over here exchange server prerequisites just click on that it will land on this page we have the links to download the application .NET framework 4.8 you can download from here visual c++ redistribution package uh, visual studio 2012 and it well you can download from this link windows features you can this command you can use it anyway i have the command with me so we'll do use that and uh, so you can see all, all the prerequisites are you can download from here unified communication manage you can download from here so i have downloaded we will be installed one by one now we are installing the applications one by one, which is uh, pre which are the prerequisites to install Exchange Server 2019. So installation is in progress. Unified Communication Managed API. Click Next. There is nothing. You can just right click and run as administrator and install all the software. So I will be back post installing all these applications. Now I have installed all the all these applications: Visual C++, <coughs> Unified Communication application the rewrite application all the four application i have installed now now if you go to the sheet we will have to enable windows features for that this is the command for that so i'm copying the command and we'll have to run it in the powershell so let us do that go to powershell run as administrator okay and just paste that command which is copied click on enter so what it does in the background it is installing all the windows features to this exchange so let it run in the background we will move to the sheet again next next we have to mount the exchange server exe file so for that i have already downloaded the iso file over here we have install we have downloaded exchange server to 2019 cu cumulative update 12 the latest one is 13 but we are installing cumulative update 12 in another video we will uh, we'll do a section how we can upgrade 
from cumulative update 12 to 13. I am mounting this ISO file. Just right click and mount it. Okay, so it is mounted to the E drive here. So what you have to do once this is over, we will we will have to navigate the mounted drive to and run the following command to prepare the schema and area. So we let we will wait till it get completed. So Windows features we have all we have enabled now. So it is successful. We have successfully enabled the Windows features. So we'll check the, what is the next step. Next step is nothing but we have to uh, mount the Exchange Server EXE that we have already done. Then now we have to navigate the mounted drive. So here the mounted drive is E drive. So we are moving to E drive. So we are on the E drive. Now what we have to do prepare schema and Active Directory. For that this is the command. We will copy the command and we'll start preparing the schema. Take time. So I'm pausing the video. We will reach back. So first we prepared the schema. Now we have prepared the uh, AD. To prepare the AD, this is the command which we have used. We have tried with the different uh, command line, but this is the one which worked. So backslash setup.exe, prepare AD. As you can see over here, this particular command actually worked. So we are all done with all the prerequisites. So now we will move with installation of the exchange server for that we have to mount the, the mounted drive we have to go over there and click on the setup file so this is a setup file right click and run as administrator click on yes so the exchange uh, installation window will open now Connect to the internet for check for updates not required as of now. Don't check the updates right now. Yeah, click on next. So the copying file process is going on. So meanwhile, we will just check what changes it happened in the uh, Exchange server once when we prepared the uh, schema and prepare the AD, what changes it happen, we'll just check it out. As you can see over here, uh, in the tools, you can see uh, when we have enabled the Windows features, the active direct uses in computers being added, sites and services being added in the tools. So this is one change it has occurred. Then we'll check it out, um, what active directory, in, what exactly changes happen when we prepare the schema and prepare the AD. Yeah. You can see a, an another uh, container over here that is Microsoft Security Groups. And you can see all these groups have been added when we prepared the schema. So before earlier, these uh, options, these particular container were not there. So it has come when we have prepared the schema and the AD schema. Now we'll check what where we are in, where we are. So yeah, so the copying file is over. We'll click on next. I accept the license and we'll share the diagnostic Microsoft. No, I accept the license but not ready to share diagnostic data with the Microsoft. I select the second option and click on next. Use recommended settings, not required. Don't use recommended settings. We will follow. And we have to click on mailbox role. Automatically install Windows Server roles. That's not required on next so this will be the uh, installation path so let it be the default path i'm not changing any path over here as of now disable malware scanning yes click on next so it is checking the readiness and the prerequisites checking it out if it require if it's missing some softwares or some preparation of uh, schema and ad if something is missing it will show that error or warning over here so there is an error which shows that IAS URL rewrite module is not installed on this computer need to be installed. So we missed to install this IAS URL. So what we can do, they have already given the link. We'll go to that link and we'll download it and we'll install that. Yeah, it shows here. So this is that particular link. We'll download it. Okay. I think it shows here, yeah. So x64 bit installer will do it. It is already downloaded. 
yeah it takes it may take one more minute to complete the downloading yeah you can see it here right click and install I accept the license and conditions click on install yes so the installation process is oh yeah it is done complete so again what we can do we can again retry it sometime it may require a reboot we'll check whether it is required or not so the machine is checking again checking the readiness check is going on let us wait for the result yeah this time it's fine there is no warning there is no error everything is fine so we can start installing so installation process it is 13 step it may take up to 30 to 40 minutes so once the grid get installed we will be back installation is over now uh, we, if you check it in the start menu you can see exchange admin center exchange management shell and exchange toolbox so in the other video we will check it in from here on base we will check it in the other video in the part two we will be covering uh, the url binding <coughs> that configuration database creation user mailbox creation all this we'll be checking in the other video bye